Fair warning, this video is going to have a bunch of different spoilers in it. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the big steamy pile of shit that was Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom. So it stars Bryce Dallas Howard, Chris Pratt, Jeff Goldblum, B.D. Wong, and was directed by J.A. Bayona. Um, this was very, very disappointing, although not surprising. Ever since seeing the first trailer for this, I have not been excited about this film. I would say I'm a Jurassic Park fan, I like the original three movies. Sure, they've got some flaws, you know, The Lost World wasn't great and neither was the third one, but they're still enjoyable in their own right, they are what they are, and they're pretty decent. They don't pretend to be anything that they're not. But that's something The Fallen Kingdom doesn't do properly. It tries to be something that it isn't. It's basically trying to be the big blockbuster summer movie when the script really doesn't lend itself to being one. Now you take something like The Avengers Infinity War, which came out a couple of months ago. Massive movie, plot lines all over the place, you know, characters everywhere, but it just really gelled properly. It was all so moulded together perfectly. It created this amazing film, which just had an ending that just left you just wanting more. This does the opposite. Now I'll be honest, I wasn't a massive fan of Jurassic World when it came out. I thought it was decent, it was, it was okay, you know, there was lots of good action and stuff like that, but this film just doesn't add anything more to the franchise whatsoever. If anything, it goes backwards. Now, you take the last film or any of the other Jurassic Park movies, they all have lots of big, wide-open spaces, you know, when they're on, like, the island, or you're, like, exploring the old ruins of the old park, like in the last film, you know, and there's just lots of really interesting things, loads of different kinds of stuff that can be going on, and you've got all the different dinosaurs going on and all that. With this, it just all sort of fell flat. The, the problem I had with it, right, and just fair warning again, this is going to be a massive spoiler for anyone who's not seen it, so if you haven't seen it yet and you are planning on seeing it and don't want to be spoiled, then um, stop watching, pause the video and come back and watch it later. But the whole movie pretty much takes place in one really sort of small bit. You've got the beginning where they go to the island and then they're trying to save the dinosaurs or whatever. And the fucking volcano explodes and then that's it. They're, they're done from the island. That takes them about 20 minutes and then they're stuck in a house for the rest of the movie. And it's a bunch of dinosaurs following them around a the house. In fact, it's not even a bunch of dinosaurs, really. It's just, like, one kind of scary dinosaur, I suppose. But that, that's all it is. It's like one dinosaur chasing a bunch of people around a house while some other people just get eaten for no apparent reason. The thing that really bugged me about it is that you compare it to something like The Lost World, which, again, got slated, especially for its ending, you know. But it doesn't even do it justice. It basically copies the script from Lost World, except, okay, the, the details are different, you know, but it's still basically, they go to the island th with the guise of saving the dinosaurs, but it turns out, oh, they really want to capture the dinosaurs and sell them or start a theme park somewhere else or whatever. Basically, they're, they're capturing the dinosaurs to then sell them, but they bring them to the fucking city and, oh my god, everything goes awry. That doesn't even happen there. In the Lost World, you've got the T-Rex running around the fucking city and it, like, eats a dog while it's, like, outside at the swimming pool. And that's fucking hilarious. But none of that is in this movie. It has basically no funny moments. The actors have no fucking chemistry. I mean, seriously, they try and give this whole love story thing between Bryce Dallas Howard and Chris Pratt's characters. But there's like one kiss in the movie and even that is just like, why are they kissing? It looks like a brother and sister kissing. It's just so fucking weird. I mean, fair play to like Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. They're, they're good actors, but as far as like a love connection goes there, they have no chemistry. I really wouldn't want to see those two in like a rom-com together because that thing would be an absolute pile of shit. Much like this film. And it just blows my mind how the film just does nothing original. I suppose we're five movies into a series which the first film was absolutely incredible, but it didn't seem like they were ever able to really do anything good with it since the first film, and that hasn't really changed. There's just nothing interesting going on here. The plot is just so formulaic, it's, it's boring. 
You've got your villain who kind of tricks the good guys because he's like, oh, I'm, I want to save the dinosaurs. No, I really want to save the dinosaurs. You've got a bunch of seedy bad guys coming into the mansion and they're going to bed on the dinosaurs, try to buy them. Oh, they want this one wants a predator. This one wants that walking tank. Oh, who gives a shit? Like, they basically play no role in the plot except that they're there to run when the dinosaurs inevitably escape. And the whole plot just completely defies logic. You know, I really thought from the trailers, the whole premise of the film was completely idiotic. You know, going to the island, risking your lives to save a bunch of dinosaurs that should never have been there in the first place. That maybe there'd be some kind of a twist or something in the actual film that maybe makes it a bit more interesting. But no, it's just they're saving the dinosaurs so that they can sell the dinosaurs, which... Is, is, yeah. Basically, the whole second half of the film, maybe even more than that, is Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, and a kid. And I'm not going to go into the subplot with the kid because all of that is just completely pointless. It's just those three running around a house, getting chased by the Indo Raptor, which is a new smart raptor. Blue comes to save the day, of course he does. And that's it. There's no T-Rex chase, there's no fantastic motorcycle sequences where they're fucking jumping over rocks and the fucking raptors are following them around and all that. You know, at least the first Jurassic World movie had all of that cool action stuff going on. This is just like a fucking horror movie, like a ghost story. Oh, we'll hide in here. Oh no, it's coming out in the corner. It was so shit. Maybe I'm being harsh. I don't know, I just feel like it was really bad. I wasn't expecting anything from this movie. I was expecting this movie to be bad anyway, but it was just so much worse than I actually thought it would be because it did not exceed any of my expectations in any way whatsoever. I really wouldn't recommend going and seeing this film. I definitely wouldn't recommend paying for it because if you do pay for it, they're going to make enough money and they're going to make another fucking movie. And... I would, at this point, like to see the Jurassic Park franchise just die. As much as I love Jurassic Park, I just don't think there's anywhere they can go with it. Let it die, because it's done. You've, you've fucked it up, there's, there's nowhere else to go with it. Unless you can get some really amazing director in to, to have a look at it for you. It, it's just nothing's going to happen here, because ultimately the franchise has peaked. It has jumped the shark... I'd, I'd say it jumped the shark about four films ago, but yeah, just please just stop. So on a scale of Comsognathus to Argentinosaurus, I'd have to rate this a Velociraptor. But not the Velociraptor from the film, which is badass. The Velociraptor, what it actually looked like, which was a stupid little chicken thing. Ultimately, it doesn't live up to any of the hype, if there was any hype to begin with. It doesn't build on the previous film at all. It just goes backwards. It basically copies a film which was already bad to begin with, except doesn't even do that film justice. So I definitely wouldn't recommend this one. If you're a massive fan of dinosaurs, the dinosaur action is kind of cool. The graphics are really nice, as they are in all big budget pictures these days, but uh, it was just incredibly disappointing. I was bored pretty much the entire time. Yeah, just, just go and watch The Lost World instead. Just, just watch that. Thanks so much for watching this review of Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom. I know it was more of a rant than a review, but this movie kind of really got on my nerves, so I just kind of had to get it all out. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell so you get notifications, add this video to your favourites, add it to a playlist so you can watch it over and over and over again. And of course, check out some of the other videos on my channel. So, thank you very much for watching. That's been a pleasure. And I'll see you guys all on Isla Nublar, where I am going to jump into the volcano head first to erase all memory that this film ever fucking existed. Peace.